Okay, to get started, just use a screwdriver and pop off the shift linkage. And then we're going to go ahead and loosen the nut that holds the shift lever. Then we're going to move it up into park and then down two clicks into neutral. And neutral is where we want to be to take this thing apart. Once we have the transmission in neutral, we can go on to removing the wire connectors. In this case, these wire connectors are going to give us a little bit of a fight. Um, sometimes they will just unplug easily, but if they don't, we can use a heat gun in order to loosen up the sealer that turns into glue over time. So once we get the sealer loosened up, then we can go ahead and pull these out. If you just manhandle these without using some heat, what's going to happen is that it's going to destroy the connectors. With a little bit of patience and a heat gun, they will come out. It's not really worth trying to remove the old stuff. We'll deal with that later when we go to put this thing back together. So again, a little bit of heat. Don't get it too hot. Don't concentrate on it or you will melt things. Just try and apply even heat with it and then work it free. You can use a little screwdriver like we're doing here to help that out. When you get it out, look at that connector. If you see a black piece on the end of the connector, that's part of the switch, the old switch. We're going to need to remove that or we're not going to be able to plug this thing back into our new switch. So pop that off. Once the connectors are off, grab a socket and pull off the two bolts that hold the switch to the transmission. Once that's done, we are ready to slide this thing off. And to do that, that switch just slides off towards you. So just kind of wiggle it out of there. Once that's out of the way, we want to take a close look at the shaft, kind of where I've got it highlighted there. What happens is that area gets peened over a little bit and it puts a little burr on the end. And that burr is going to damage our new switch when we go to put it on. So we're just going to take a file, a couple strokes, and then make sure to remove that burr on the flat spots, just like we're doing here. You'll see that metal clip on there. Do not remove that metal clip. The switch is shipped in the neutral position and that metal clip holds it there. That's why our transmission goes in neutral when we started this job. So just taking a quick look at the replacement switch compared to the one we took off that comes with a foam seal on the back side that our original one did not have. So that's helping to keep that moisture uh, out of that switch to, for a long life. So to put it back on, we're just going to reverse the process. Get that switch up in there. Line up the flat spots on the shaft sticking out of the transmission with the flat spots on the switch. And then just kind of wiggle it on. You'll notice it kind of snaps in when it's fully there. And the switch will be seated tight against the transmission. Once that's in, kind of move that switch until you feel where it wants to center itself. Once that's done, go ahead and start your bolts. Now that our bolts are tight, holding the switch down, now we can pull that clip off. So just pop that clip off there. We no longer need that anymore. And you can pitch that. With the clip out of the way, we can reinstall the shift lever, but first make sure to put that little plastic shield on there. Another uh, way of just keeping dirt and moisture out of that switch to help promote the long life of it. With the shift lever back on, tighten the nut. We are going to press against park in this case. And to make sure that that shift lever is on the correct way, you'll see that the the pin is facing you. It's not facing the transmission where that shift linkage is going to snap onto. Okay, back to the connectors. You can see that goo on there. That's kind of a sealer that GM had used. 
uh, and it just really turns to a, a glue more so over time. So instead of trying to get it all off, all we're going to do is heat that stuff up, get our heat gun back out, warm that stuff up. Um, again, we're not looking for the stuff to drip and melt off. We just want to get it warm. Once that's done, go ahead and just slide those connectors back in. We do want to make sure that they seat all the way. So be sure to push them in as far as they go. Do the same thing with both connectors. It just makes the job easier if you can put some heat on them. After those are plugged back in, we can go ahead and reinstall our shifter linkage. That just snaps on and this job is complete.